Good morning. We're here with John Bunnelly of Klaus of America, and he's going to tell us about their hybrid system, their threshing and separation system uh, on the Lexion Combine, and he's, he's going to talk to us a little bit about why this is the preferred system for residue management in, a, say, a no-till or a conservation tillage application. Hi. Um, I'm here with Klaus, okay, product specialist of North America, and what I want to explain to you today is our um, APS threshing system and also our uh, rotor separation system at the rear. So what I'm going to explain is the fact that we can get the most uh, efficiency and also thrashing throughput with our machine. We achieve that because of our APS cylinder up here at the front. We can do the pre-threshing right up here at the front and then the main threshing up here with our main cylinder. Okay? With this combination, 70% of the grain is already taken out of your crop before it gets into your rotors at the back. The rotors at the back then are 13.7 foot long and they do 13% of your crop out of your crop mat but all of your separation. The really nice job with this is the fact that you have two independent speeds, one speed for doing your thrashing and then the second speed then for doing your separating at the back, optimizing your machine throughput at all times. The nice thing then too is with your residue management then at the end, you've got the enhanced throughput with your APS hybrid system and then you can take that forward and then you get a better power uh, transfer to do your residue management. We offer three different choppers available. Uh, the MAV chopper, which is a standard fixed tailboard chopper. We've got the turbo chop, which spreads up to 40 foot. We even have some customers using McDonald's up to 45 foot. And then we've got the Pro chop, which is used in uh, Canada then for the small grains application. Uh, turbo chop and MAV chop, we've got independent uh, chaff spread and also um, straw spread at the rear. Whereas with the Pro chop, it actually makes all of the residue together to make the even spread. One thing that's critical with class is the fact that some of our customers are no-tilling soybeans straight in behind uh, after a wheat crop. They need the straw to be as short as possible. With the short straw, they can get straight into the field and drill their soybeans in. And also for the guys year on year doing the no-tillage, residue management is one of the most important factors of their harvesting activities. To make sure that that straw is broken down so they can mix with the nutrients on the ground to have the best availability of nutrients for the plants in the field. Thank you very much. Thank you, John.